the past few weeks. Well, it's not really stalking if you don't know where she's at. I've just been hanging out at this coffee shop she checked into four months ago on Facebook. <laughs> but she knows me. She knows me, guys. We used to talk, um, like, all the time in college, like, a year ago. Uh, we used to talk. And uh, until she called me out on having a crush on her, and she said in mid-conversation, Stop. I know you like me. And then she squeezed my arm. And then I got nervous. And then I said no. And so I made an effort to ignore her so I could prove that I didn't like her. So I could be right. It didn't work out. But I don't know, I, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I, I don't even know why you guys brought it up. It's a really tough subject for me. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately. Sleeping, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, because I haven't had any sleep. I haven't had, uh, it's not because of the girl either. It's because I read this article about the nine different stages of sleep in a complete sleep cycle. And I've been trying to catch myself in each stage. <laughs> I, I haven't gone past the first one. <laughs> Thinking this. <laughs> well, my life for the past few months, my life for the past few months has been involved sitting at this coffee shop with the hopes of bumping into this girl. But I figured out that I hadn't seen her in a long time, and so I did anything. I did the same thing as any logical person would do, and I looked her up on Facebook. She's dead. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that was a new one. Yeah. She's not dead. Uh, she's in a lesbian relationship, so she might as well be dead for the next few months. <laughs> depending on how long her phase lasts. <laughs> but I've been trying to date in the meantime. I've been trying to date, and I signed up for eHarmony, and I was communicating with this girl on eHarmony because it was free week and I'm a cheap asshole. So that was the only time I would do it. We were exchanging uh, like messages, emailing back and forth. And then uh, we emailed each other's numbers, I called her up, and we talked to her a little bit. It seemed to be going well, and I told her that, you know, I don't really know what you look like. And she's all like, well, that's kind of hot. So she sent me a picture, and I was very disappointed. <laughs> very, I, I have bad luck with women, guys. <laughs> I, you know, I know my problems are probably within my own, but we're not going to spend the next three minutes trying to figure that shit out. It's not therapy. <laughs> I live with my best friend. My best friend is actually my roommate. And the funny thing about living with your roommates or best friends is that you pick up on each other's habits. Uh, so my roommate loves, loves to run. So I started running. And we run now. That's our thing. <laughs> and then I signed up for improv classes. And he knew that was bullshit. <laughs> so he just stays at home and he watches soccer. <laughs> My roommate and I, we've been best friends for about well over a decade, all the way into like the middle of like high school. Um, and he's actually in the audience right now, I'm not going to point him out, but you can clap for him a lot. Clap for him. I'm about to ruin everything now. My roommate has been in a relationship for the last few months and he seems very happy. But I also feel that his relationship and him having a girlfriend is kind of like me having a girlfriend. <laughs> Because we share just one bathroom in a very, a very luxurious duplex. We share one bathroom, and I feel like I have to be very, very, uh, you know, clean around her. And I have to try not to be gassy. And I don't really want to take a shit when she's hanging around. But I will put this out there. when. My roommate and his girlfriend are having sex. I totally masturbate to them. I gotta stay on the same schedule. The hardest part about that joke is actually telling you that I took a shit. I, I'm a very shy anus. I don't like taking shit to places. Sometimes I like watching porn when she's not around. There's a few things that I like and a few things that I hate about porn. One, I hate storylines. They're bullshit. Nobody needs to see that. I do like passionate porn for some reason. I think it's because there's a lack of passion in my life. 
I want to know what it looks like. I don't like, but I'm not completely against, but I don't like the money shot. And that's because I probably never made it to the money shot. In the video, it's just way too far in. I've also never made it to the money shot in real life. It's not that I don't want to do it, I just think I can't hold out that long. It's probably a mental thing. I have, uh, honestly, come on a girl's chest before, and it was cool. It was cool. It was, it was also by accident. We were switching positions and slipped out, and I got excited. I'm not a pro yet. A pro. I'll leave you guys with this. I, I kind of want a website for a man like me. A, you know, a website that's very simple and, and very easy to go through. Um, I think I would call it justforpassion.com. And it would be split up in, into very three, yet very simple categories. Number one, Quickies. <laughs> Videos with the right cuts to make sure you get off. <laughs> Number two, short films because it's fancy. I'm the creative type. I like angles, black and white, and I like to get shit done during the day, so these will still be like, you know, eight to ten minutes long because nobody wants to watch a porn that's like an hour and 49 minutes long. <laughs> and finally, number three, um, number three is SFA, no, SFW, I'm sorry, I totally fucked that up. SFW stands for Safe for Work. It'll consist of all the storylines from every porn video that ever existed, mashed up into one so you can watch it at work, and you have something to look forward to at the end of the day. It's just gonna be a bunch of doors opening and lesbians drinking coffee. Guys, thanks for your time. That's